Juanita tested positive for HIV 17 years ago. I knew about the virus. I had a couple of friends that, you know, I used to get high with and also knew about it and they passed on. The recession has slashed the budget of the AIDS Drug Assistance Program, forcing the creation of a patient waiting list in Juanita's home of North Carolina and 11 other states. The lack of funding for free AIDS medication and long-term poverty is a perfect storm for spreading the virus. Here in the rural and impoverished Deep South, unlike the rest of the United States, they have seen a steady increase in HIV infection rates since the onset of the virus 25 years ago. The last statistics from the Center for Disease Control show an increase of 36%, while the rest of the United States saw a decrease of 6%. These high figures are partially due to the stigma HIV AIDS patients carry in this part of the U.S. They are reluctant to get tested, afraid of how they'll be treated by the community, and they're also less likely to seek treatment if they do test positive. It's the biggest stigma in the city, because you know, people in the city, they probably can accept you. But down here, it's like behind closed doors. I even wanted to commit suicide when I first found out. I wanted to hang myself. Juanita and Warren are patients of the Rural Health Group Clinic in Henderson, North Carolina, part of a group of clinics run by John Paul Womble. He is also a patient. He tested positive with HIV 18 years ago. My father died of AIDS 22 years ago. He died of AIDS, I say, but what he really did was kill himself. He killed himself rather than letting anyone know he was HIV positive because the stigma was strong then and the stigma is strong now. Any pain, tenderness when I do that? Health officials are concerned that reduced access to AIDS medicine in the free clinics of North Carolina are going to keep even more patients behind closed doors. In the United States in 2010, it's, it's unbelievable to me that I actually have patients who cannot receive medications because they're uninsured. Earlier this month, U.S. President Barack Obama unveiled his new AIDS care, strategy. But some AIDS organizations are disappointed with the president's plan, saying federal funding is less than 20 percent of what state and locally run AIDS health care programs need to properly prevent the spread of HIV. You can't say that this is a new strategy uh, if you don't intend to spend any money on it. To those who live with the virus and see family and friends die from it, there is only one outcome from a lack of treatment. The funding is not there. All it's going to be is going to be more graves and more funerals. If AIDS HIV health care in rural North Carolina is not expanded and its funding is not increased, more Carolinians of the next generation will be dealing with the stigma of having AIDS in the Deep South. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Henderson, North Carolina.